Hey everyone, this is Sade Simone back for another tutorial. I'm starting off with Angel Veil Primer. Now I'm using my Ulta Min Micro Pencil for my eyebrows. I'm just filling it in. I'm doing a pretty soft brow and I'm just going along with the brows that I have and they are somewhat tweezed but I'm just going along with the actual brow line that I have. I'm not doing a, ex a whole lot of extra filling in, just going with what I have to make them a little bit cleaned up. Now to clean up my eyebrows even more, I'm using LA Girl Pro Conceal in Fawn and I'm using a Real Techniques brush and I'm going up under my eyebrows to uh, give it an even cleaned up look. It looks really, really good. I use this most of the time when I have extra time to be able to do my eyebrows. I'm now using a Wet n Blender to blend this through and so it has a smooth transition. I'm going to use Wet n Wild as a primer. So I put it all over my lids and I set it and the setting color that I'm going to use is from the NYX Ultimate pa Palette Warm Nudes and the color that you see right there. I'm going to put it all over my lids to set it before I put any actual powder down for my eyeshadow. Now using the Ultimate Brights, I'm using the red color that I have and I'm going to use a fluffy brush to go into my above my crease on both of my eyes and then I'm going to use the brighter red to make it a little bit more intense and I'm using a denser brush to give it a more dramatic effect. Now I'm going back to the warm neutral palette and I'm picking that darker um, brick red color and with that I'm putting it more into my crease to give myself some more color and dimension. I'm using the Makeup Revolution No Photos palette. I'm using that dark black color and it has a little shine in it, but I'm putting that into the crease. So I'm blending it into the crease. I'm not going past half of my eyes because I'm going to do a cut crease um, shortly after this. I keep building the product in to make sure that it um, piled in as much as I want it in. And I keep reminding myself not to go farther than half of my eyes. And so I just keep blending on both of them for that. I switched to a tighter brush so I'll be able to get in even tighter with the dark color in my eyes and I keep blending it through to make it a little bit more intense. For the cut crease I'm using the Wet n Wild concealer again, the same thing that I used to prime my eyes. I'm going to start um, at the corner of my eyes and even though I have hooded eyes I still do cut creases from time to time I just go with the actual crease and fold of my eye that's where my cut crease is going to be at and then I bring it over so as you can see I'm using a small Real Techniques concealer brush and I bring it over and I keep on blending it through and I take my time for the cut crease itself and after, after I have the actual cut crease done, I just blend it out using the concealer. And I'm not doing a full cut crease, it's about, I guess, three quarters of the way. And take your time on the actual cut crease, and after that, you just blend the rest of the concealer down. I'm using the same color that I used to set my eyes to set my cut crease and I'm just using a small um, flat brush to set it. And this gives me a nice non-wet um, place to start at. Now using the NYX Avant palette in Pop, I'm using the silvery color that I'm putting into all over the cut crease and I'm using a flat um, tapered brush to be able to get it in. It'll pick up a lot of the product while I put it into um, all over where I have the cut crease and the powder setting it. Now I'm going in with my tapered brush to blend the black and the silver together and I'm adding more black shadow as well as I'll, I'm adding more silver shadow to um, both areas to have it so it's a good blend. I'm using the infallible eyeliner in black 
Now, if you're anything like me, I tend to use liquid eyeliner, but I chose to use um, pencil eyeliner for this one. I probably would have used uh, liquid eyeliner, but I wanted to try something a little different. I put my eyeliner on for both eyes, and then I noticed that I didn't like how it went on, so I used a smudger brush to smudge it to um, help it out a little bit with the line. And so I did that to both eyes. Um, next time, I'll probably be using liquid. I'm going in using Princess Lash for my eyelashes, which is by Essence. And now I'm going to start on my face. With my face, I'm going to be using um, the Stay Put Maybelline 24 Hour Foundation. With this foundation, I mixed it with Latte from their Fit Me um, collection because this runs a little red. I'm now blending it out using a Morphe blender brush and as you can see it runs a little red it does oxidize and so it gets a little bit darker and blends in with my skin tone um, afterwards but while you're blending I don't blend a lot around my eyes because I highlight it um, with this look and so I'm just blending around blending into my neck as well as going around my um, face and blending into my ears now I'm using a Morphe blender to get any excess product that I have on my face and I just pat it all over my face, all the, everywhere that I put on foundation. I'm coming back with the fawn again under my eyes to highlight. I'm doing under my eyes and also this just makes me look more wide awake and makes the bags look like they're not there as much. I'm also going to do my nose as well as my forehead. This just brings light to those certain places that, and makes it so um, your nose looks a little bit thinner as well as your face looks a little bit sharper and it just makes overall a better look. I'm doing my upper lip as well as my chin. It'll bring more light to those areas. I'm going to come through with the same beauty blender that I had which is a regular Sephora blender and I'm blending out all the areas, my nose, my forehead, the chin as well as under my eyes and I'm blending all of that through. I went back to my Real Techniques concealer brush and I wanted to make sure that the line up under my eyes was sharp so I used that and then I went back to blending. For setting I used Makeup Revolution uh, Deep Potted Banana Powder and I did that up under my eyes. I also did my forehead as well as my chin. Everywhere that I put the Fawn Concealer, I put this Make a Revolution uh, Banana Powder. To set my face, I used Black Opal in Dark. And I put that everywhere that I did not put this Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. And this one just gives you more of a um, set look for all places that you just want it to be a little bit darker. And like the hollows of your face as well as your forehead around your hairline. And I'm also going to do um, contouring as well. I'm contouring with Black Radiance in Dark, the powder um, contour kit. And with that I'm using the darkest color that they have and I'm blending it into the hollows of my cheeks. I'm doing my forehead around my hairline to give it more of a um, more dimension to my face because when you put on foundation it takes away from the dimension and so you put on um, contour to be able to bring back dimension to your face so it looks like your face before you put it on. I'm also dusting away using a clean brush, the, ex the excess powder that I have from my Makeup Revolution Banana and this is also blending it into my skin so the two colors can blend together. I'm using the Dark Brick Red in the e.l.f. Blush Quad for my cheeks. I'm blushing it on with the e.l.f. brush. For my highlight, I'm using Makeup Revolution Moon Glow Lights and I'm just dusting that on using um, a Real Techniques brush and that's actually a contour brush but I love it as a highlight brush. I'm putting on eyeliner for my bottom lashes as well as I'm putting on mascara um, for my bottom lashes and to finish off my eyes as well as my look overall. I have to moisturize my lips so I'm putting on some chapstick before I put on my brandy wine by Wet n Wild lip line.
I started using NYX um, liquid suede in cherry skies but then I started putting it on and noticed it was much brighter than what I wanted so I came back and used wet and wild in video vixen and this is the liquid um, catsuit line and so I then outlined it so I have like an ombre lip effect going on and so it will give me a darker look that I like To finish everything, I finished with using Wet n Wild spray. I've sprayed it all over my face and then using some type of fan, anything you fan your face. I thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that you were able to catch something from it. Please do not forget to like, share, as well as comment under the video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate the love. I hope you have a fantastic and wonderful day. And do not forget that there is always a little time for beauty. Bye, everyone. Kisses.